Late today, a police bomb squad removed suspected explosives from the home of alleged killer Dylan Cleveland and took them, along with suspicious bomb materials found at the school, to a site where they could safely be exploded. But it was 18-year-old Eric Harris who authorities believe masterminded and led the brutal assault on Columbine High School before taking his own life. 17-year-old Dylan Cleveland, the other suspected killer who committed suicide, authorities say was merely a Harris follower. I did not think they would actually do something like this. And it was not in their normal nature to, to conceive or go through with what they did yesterday. Harris and Cleveland were members of a small group called the Trench Coat Mafia for the long black coats, boots, and caps they wore. Both had juvenile crime records. They were kind of the people you didn't want to, you didn't want to mad at you. You didn't think they'd kill you or anything, but you just didn't want to, did, just didn't want to be mad at you. From upper middle class backgrounds, Klebold lived here with his parents. Harris lived here, where last night police sealed off and searched the house, seizing books, videos, computers, and printouts. Harris also had an internet page, and in a haunting reference to yesterday's mayhem wrote, today is my last day on earth, be prepared. Federal agents are also looking into whether the movie, The Basketball Diaries, inspired the massacre. In the film, a drug-addicted character's dream sequence has him gunning down teachers and classmates at school. He said he was having problems with his home life. Harris's friends say they saw pressure building in him both at home and at school, where they say he was teased and tormented as an outcast. But I think he was pushed over the edge to the point where he developed this mind frame of where there was no way out. Tonight, as hundreds remain gripped with grief, Eric Harris's parents issued a statement saying they were sorry. Bob McNamara, CBS News, Littleton.